So tonight I thought that we'd paint an abstract landscape in the studio with no plan. We're just going to get some colours. We'll put them on the paper and then see how we go. So let's get painting. So this is the painting I ended up painting tonight. All the colours and the paper and the brushes are all going to be in the description below. If you'd like some more help with your watercolour, then feel free to join me on Patreon on the link up here. So let's get started. I'm just going to wet the page a bit. Just wet, I won't wet it completely, I'll just wet it in a random way. I'm just going to bring on a little bit of um, yellow ochre down here like this. All the colours, paper, paints will be in the description below. I'm just going to go a bit of Windsor Red. Nice. And we might just I might just load that up a bit more, get a bit more strength of tone there. There we go. Beautiful. Now we'll just tilt it this way. I'll just spray a bit. Lovely. Just use a bit of a tissue to just help this bead of water down the bottom here. Mop up. Just go back this way a bit. I might just bring in a bit of dark, bit of winds blue, red shade, light red. I think let's just bring that in. Beautiful. All right, I might just dry this now. All right, let's keep going. I'm going to turn it up this way now. We'll see how that goes. Load up with this Winds Blue Red Shade Light Red.
think I'm pretty happy with that actually. I, I stood back before and turned it upside down and I thought, oh, that's just beautiful. So uh, I went with that and I, and I like it. So let's dry this. Just before I dry it, I'm just going to bring it a bit more. Just lifting up a little bit of that colour. Just lifting out a little bit of light, not much. Just getting all the water out and just going to lift it out. Alright, let's dry it. Alright, we're going to use some of this 3M magic removable tape. It's going to go above and come down to here because this is Reeves BFK, so it's a bit. It's a bit soft this paper to go using just 3M magic tape. The problem is, is that often this does leak a bit underneath. So you've got to press this down as hard as you possibly can. Like this. You've got to have dried the paper as thoroughly as you can and then when you come in with a damp brush, you want to make sure it's not too wet. I'm just going to use my flat nylon, take a bit of the water out. I'm just going to come in along here. Just going to disturb it a bit. Use a tissue to wipe out. We'll see how much this comes away because there's a lot of layers on there, so it's not necessarily going to come back to the paper particularly well. And then if this doesn't come off easily, then you can um, use the hairdryer to heat it up. Just going to use a bigger hake brush to just... just go up a tiny bit just to give it a little bit a little bit of distance
Right, let's try this. So I've decided rightly or wrongly it needs something a little bit stronger to anchor the eye into somewhere because it's not really a subject. If anywhere the subject is here and I, I could give some more definition to this and give, make that a solid line but I think what I'm going to do is just make it this line here a bit more solid and that will make this area the subject but give some a resting place for the eye. It doesn't really have at the moment, it doesn't really have an exact resting place that's quite strong enough so that's what we're going to do. Just going to use a razor blade. Extend along a bit more. So thanks for joining me tonight everyone. I hope this was interesting for you to see just an abstract landscape come about through making some random marks and then seeing where that where that took me. So thanks for watching. If you want to know about future videos then press the subscribe button and press the bell button and so you get notifications of when I produce videos. So thanks guys, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. If you want anything in particular then just let me know in the comments below and thanks very much. Good night.